I'm always doing that. This thing just has this big old glitch. Well, listen, you know, I'm understanding, you know, that perhaps one of my videos isn't really being taken so well. I'm just trying to tell you where Jesus is at, you know, when he says he's inside of you. And if you say, you know, well, his spirit is inside of you, well, this is where it is. There really isn't any room for another spirit inside your body. Although, you know, you probably could take on some kind of an extra spirit if you've asked it to come into your life. It's a type of possession. But uh, even those people that have, like, multiple personality disorders, really what they have is they're really tapped in more into their spirit and all their other past lives that they've taken on, you know. And there's usually a, a, a veil of some kind that keeps you from crossing this while you're consciously awake. Because you really only just want to focus on this time around. <clears throat> But in some of these cases, you know, what happens is, is uh, you know, if you never go inside and clean out, you know, and you're really cleaning, you're restoring the, 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 the real you, the, the spirit. Uh, so when it dies, uh, or when you really, when you die in real life, when you give up the ghost, to call it, then it winds up um, retaining, this is what would be car karma. And uh, although you wake up as a newborn baby, and you have your new heaven and hell, you know, being come to life, your new mother and father, uh, and your new family, your new real mom and dad, and all that. And what happens is, is uh, well, you can go all through your life. Nothing going wrong with you at all. But then one day something just triggers you, something switches, something happens, and you know, and this other thing pops out, this other side of you that you've kept hidden, maybe, that you've known of, to keep them under wraps, you know? But there's something inside that wants to get out, you know? And so this is something, you know, and you have to let it out. <laughs> Suffer the consequences, but you know, you gotta let it out, whatever it is. Um, when people in our world are you know, or in trouble for like kidnapping and, and murder and stuff, and they wind up in being electrocuted and stuff like that. Um, instead of being cleaned out, then we take and put these murderers, these awful, really awful people, back into the in, into the, the the swamp. You know, of, you know, which is the the, the you know you he's. It never got cleaned out. It's still there. It's all of that is still there. So, you know, uh, there should be some kind of uh, knowledge put on the idea that maybe we should teach people how to meditate before you kill them, you know, uh, because you're going to be bringing back something that's probably three or four times worse or, you know, good God, you know. But that's the way the science works, all right? So that's the science behind it. And I was just wanting to come on and give old, to Satan. I got to give Satan his time. You know, all this other times about Jesus, Jesus and Mary, what's the Virgin Mary and stuff like that, you know. Well, you know, with the man side of this thing has got to get in here, you know. And I'm not going to knock the man all the time. You know, it's just by nature that, that the, the skin and male and the man and the master, the father, would be you. Would be the human being itself, the beast, the animal. The part of you that has life, the one that gets to make, you know, do whatever it wants. It really can, you know, it can totally ruin, it can have this whole world and it lose its, you know, its spiritual side, you know, or it can come in here and it can work together in harmony. Um, but that's our choice to do this kind of thing. So, you know, the male side has had its way for a long time. And I just want to show you that, you know, in, you know, Throughout history, it's really always been the beast. It's always been this, you know, kind of the destroyer of the thing. He's the one that, you know, if you don't tame him, you know, it could be really mean. You know, I grew up with a father that was a roofer and just really mean and didn't make it probably out of the sixth grade or something like that, you know. Um, it doesn't mean a lot, but at the same time, you know, he was just a heather, just mean, you know. And you had to do what he said and not as he did, you know. <clears throat> of course, when you did as you as he did, you'd wind up in trouble, probably with the police, you know. Yeah, so what happens is, is the father is the one who gets to run everything. He is the boss, you know. He's the one that you have to trick, you know, like the rabbi, you know, or Jesus having to be, um, you know, when Judas is going to betray him. Well, you know that that word betray, you can't 
you can't be betrayed of somebody if you if you know about it ahead of time. You know, plus he's kind of not, he's picking him out because at this time, you know, if you knew the story correctly, you, Judas, it didn't come up on Judas until then, but they make him out to be like he was thieving from them all the time. That's, that's, that's not how it works, you know, but that's the way they want to write in the story. But I'm telling you, there's a lot of fabrication and things, but in reality, you know, this was the only person that this Jesus character, you know, uh, could, could believe in, could trust. And, and if you were living, you know, three, four thousand years ago, when someone says that if I dip this sop and send it, this is the person I dip the sop to, then you would know that, oh, that must be his best friend, you know? He's not a traitor after all, you know? Because it has to happen in order to, you know, gain this beautiful thing. To, to, to join the two together is to gain this knowledge and to make yourself one. That's, that's the riches. <coughs> If it's not the riches, it's what happens, it comes out of it. It's the new mind, it's the new wine, it's those are riches, the things that come out of, from joining them together. <clears throat> but the male, all by itself, is, is, it's not always the best of thing. You know, it can use its best judgment, and in its best judgment it can, you know, do very well. But most of the time, what this, what the story is talking about is connecting them together. Because not everyone has that kind of a mind. Sometimes that mind turns into something awful. And through religion, you know, and I've seen people, I rebuke you and I do this, you know, that if they had the lightning bolt in their hands, they would come at me. They literally would try to kill me. And this is the kind of monster that you get from the left side of the brain. This is the left side doing this. It's very emotional and cray crazy, but you get to scream and holler, you know. That's why everyone loves the sides, you know. You get to kill someone. You get to hate someone. You get to say, I don't like you because you don't, you're not a Christian. You know, you're not Catholic. You're not part of my group. You're odd. You're different. You're weird. My God says, hate you. My God says, take advantage of you. My God says, you're my slave. So, you know, <clears throat> this is what people have been up against. It's only been the last couple of, uh, maybe less than a hundred years that even I'm allowed to say something, you know, without getting a tremendous backslash, backlash from it. You know, it's just ruthless. But anyways, the devil gets his due. All right. <clears throat> This is how I know that he and Jesus are in the same place because the Son of Man really is the solar plex. That's where he hangs out. Now, if you were, I don't have a picture of it, but if you were to, you know, research Baphomet, all right, he's the one that they're pumping around right now. Well, he's probably the best of all of the symbols for man that there is out there. Remember, we are the beast. That's the male and female. That's why it has titties, all right? Um, it's not like the Elohim, alright? It's not that same kind of thing because that's not what the lower conscious is about. The lower conscious is between us being both male or female, <laughs> alright? Meaning we're both, we're, we're both in this together. Um, it really means that our minds are exactly the same. There's nothing different between the male and the female mind, you know? We all have this side, this masculine side that rules over the mind and the body, absolutely rules, rules over it, it's got to, and if it doesn't, it let something else come and rule over it that rules over you, like religion, you know, and all this other mess, and you have this, the, this Jesus guy, when he teaches, what he teaches is to separate from that, get away from that control, let me, let you be free, get me away from there, be yourself, so here's your mind without the connection, runs like a beast good or bad it has the choice right but if it wanted to be strong if it wanted to last if it wanted to draw from the higher side like if we were being asked to to feed from the higher side don't feed from the lower side then you would see that we were going to try to trick this other side we're going to trick the male and we're going to subdue it we're going to put it to sleep and then walk it up this internal mountain and give it a bath and then they're all one happy family. We are all one happy family. So <clears throat> until then, that's the opposite side of the Satan. I mean, Satan, Satan on his own, and then you under divine control. It's all about your the carnal mind on its own. It can be really devilish and, and, and full of red anger, you know, and, 
emotions, you know, and strong, and like, ah, uh, you know, like people using this, the Bible for a shield and a weapon, you know, ah, uh, you know, it's a, the horns that grow from the strength that they get from this carnal side of their body. Separate from it. Separate it. Go upstairs. Sup with the Lord. Everything will be fine. That's what it means to have a little bit of bread. This is me. Have a little bit of drink. This is me. That's what it means to follow. To follow. You're not following father and you're not following mother. You're following that Jesus. And that Jesus tells you to go within. Seek the kingdom within you first. And then he says, to, you know, pray like this. And he says, in your own closet. It's a, a type of uh, fasting, you know, instead of, you know, not eating and, and starving the body and making your body wrinkled and stuff like this. This is like a very negative thing to do to the body. You know, there may be some great things that could happen from it. Maybe some purging. Maybe, you know, people go on these psychedelic trips because you're getting high off of body fluids and body things, body stuff, you know, you're making your mind, you're depriving the mind of, of its energy as well and going on a trip, that's not, that's not, it, maybe you could meet God, maybe you can't, I've never done that, you know, but you know, maybe it's, it's my starving days ahead may happen, you know, something to look forward to, but in reality what you're doing is you're starving the mind, you're starving the mind, and so that's what it means to shut off the mind, it's to, that's your type of meditation and you do that in secret. You don't have to do it out in the open. You don't have to make it look like these people. But you know, well, he's been meditating, you know. That's why he hasn't eaten in 30 days. Yeah, I'll be seeing all kinds of shit, too. Oh, I've got a prophecy going on, you know. And so I, I saw a tiger running through the woods. You know, who was it? Well, it must have been Obama. That's what this one grotesque guy does. And everything was about Obama, Obama, Obama. Now Trump's in the office. That's Trump, Trump, Trump. So whatever it is to fit the bill, that's what you get off the top of the Bible, you know, and these people just, they don't have much of a memory of what they said, you know, want this one guy, lady, I don't know, Lynn something another, she says, you know, here's a message from God, and this time it means it, you know, hmm, I think that she's used that at least a half a dozen or two dozen times in the past five years. This time it means it, you know. Well, goddamn. I wish they'd stop doing that with God. You know, I wish they'd come out and tell us that, you know, that they're, that Satan is the one that they're, that they're rooting about, you know. Or realize that that's who they're rooting for. Because, you know, to, to, to put the, uh, to, the, the divine side of this energy, that we've talked about her before, to put her in a spot of hurting or killing or destroying anything. <laughs> you're, you're an idiot if you think that way. You just can't. It's, it's the energy is just incapable of such low conscious maneuvers. Absolutely. All right. So that's the difference between the right side and the left side. All right. Oh, I know what I say. The, the the thing Baphomet. If you would look at him, the symbolism is all there. There's no color in this. In him, but you would see <clears throat> that he's a beast by nature, and he's really male. You would call overall, it's male with tits. It has a star, which I believe <clears throat> is part of this Mandela effect, because if it's a star, it used to a pentagram stand that goes under is a five five pointing down. He, that means he's the skin. He's the lower. He's the lower. The five. We've said five, five. When the three, two, and three people are together, when the five come together, you have, uh, you know, in Jesus' name, you know, which is, you know, while you're in meditation, when those five are you uh, uh, have been subdued, you know, this uh, this great thing happens to you. That's that's really, he's the five. He's the skin. That's why, you know, just showing you how it works. It all has to make sense. If you were to look <clears throat> at this, at his, what they call it's a, uh, what do they call that thing? <clears throat> What's going on? Like whenever I start talking about the devil, because really I'm, I'm betraying myself. I'm betraying, you know, Satan. 
when it comes to a caduceus, a caduceus is the thing with the medicine, you know. <clears throat> it's the chakra. It runs from here to here, to the top chakra, to the sixth chakra, and then we have, of course, we have our crown. Now, if you look at his symbol, his caduceus only runs up to the, to the stomach. If you look at it, you, some people don't even look at it. They think it's a penis or something, so they don't even really focus down there, but it's a, it's a caduceus. His caduceus only goes to the third, to the third, third chamber. This is in the Bible. They call the because all of these. This is the seven churches. He, his, he resides in the third church, Pergamos, the middle, the middle of us, middle purgatory. That's where he is. That's where Jesus is too, the Son of Man. So you know, this could be like when they talk about Jesus and, and this guy being brothers, you know, then what you see is, a, you know, a, another duality being born. And I put them on our shoulders, people put them on their shoulders, since way back they've always been, you know, which way are you going to go, this way or that way, you know. And of course they always assemble the good things with the right, just as the Bible, everything on the east, everything comes from the right. It's the right side, the right side of our heads is this better place. Um, so, I think that's all I wanted to get a hold of you about. I told you that this whole thing is a, um, how to make you one, you know. And while we are divided, what does that mean? To be divided is to be conquered, all right? You know, and the Pope, he's just running around, just having such a great old time out there. Do you know that he has that pine cone sitting on the top of his little thing? He knows that if he's in charge of your pine cone, he's the boss. He's the boss of your world. And when you finally reach up and get your pine cone going, you're the boss of your world, because world is mine. That means you get your mind back. So anyways, alone is not all that great. You know, we've made it all this time. We've stayed alive. But look at all the killing and the, and the separation and the distrust and the, oh my God. So many things have suffered because of this, this, this book. Anyways, um, I'm really testing this out to see if this thing will even let me come up. Because yesterday I couldn't get anything up. But anyways, everything, you know, in this world has got to get its time, and this was the devil's. And you will see that what it meant was whenever it has this third chakra, he's in the third spot. When you go under, when you go under, all right, these two separate. The skin falls asleep. The skin falls asleep. That takes the devil, puts him under, all right? That's following in with the scripture. He's no longer in there at all no longer at all it is just the spirit now that's free and this is where Jesus becomes this lift mechanism that comes up and takes care of things you know brings you up to a hard higher, higher place and while you're up there it just happens really fast it's a it's a situation that they call would be like lightning it's electric they only have to go so far you know it's not like that you know although this dish is like open up to the world out there but it's like uh, all like most all things and you know it's like thinking and all of a sudden oh I got an idea that's the kind of that's the kind of help that we get you know it's just a beautiful thing and it happens really fast and you never know it. you just never know it until something beautiful happens you know and or just till a series of wonderful things happen or don't happen you know they just keep up the, the thing because you no longer want to do what people else you know you don't want to follow this you don't want to go in that mess. you don't want to do all that if you are lucky enough to be able to do it on your own, have a ball. Alright, best to y'all. Love you. Alright.